What is up guys, Anoli here and welcome to Mask of the Day episode 44. I'm sorry if I let you guys down yesterday with the mask. Uh, it wasn't that well received, but I can understand that. It, uh, I liked it, probably wasn't one of my finest creations and it was just themed with the topic, that being the Golden Joystick Awards. So, today we're in the makeup for it by doing Deadpool. This is a mask that has been requested on a number of occasions uh, from quite a while back actually. I think episode 5 I saw it first. And that is what's going on today. So, the thing about the Deadpool mask is there's only really one material, one pattern, and one colour that's going to work for it. What there is a lot of is masks. So, most of these masks go quite well if they're long, thin, and more oval shaped. Even the Anonymous uh, works well. The Highlander works next best, but I'm saying the best one is the Hockey Mask. So, let's get down to customising that. Material we're going to want is Blood Red. Any of the reddish materials work, but Blood Red gives that extra sheen we're going to want. Uh, pattern, next up, we want the three points. I'll talk about the issues concerning three points when I've done the mask. It's impossible to get it just right. But finally, we're going to want black and red as the colour. That is because of the, those being the only two colours on his face. Now, the thing with this is I that means that I cannot think of another way of doing this mask if you haven't pre-ordered the game. So, if you don't have the loot bag item red and black, I don't see how this is possible. Now, that may just be me, not being able to see a way around this, and you guys might have a workaround. And if you do have a workaround for this, do let me know how you've done your own Deadpool mask in the comments below. I would really like to know, and I may even make a video on it telling the people who unfortunately haven't pre-ordered the game how to do it. But, for my mask, we're using this one. So there we have it, that is Deadpool now. It's almost just right. I quite like the way the hockey mask does it. Even though there's these lines and things, they look somewhat natural. His eyes look more white than the other examples, just because of the uh, lighting that I've tried. Just because we need a little bit of white, otherwise the whole face is black. Uh, another thing to point out is unfortunately, and this is the issue that was concerning the three points, this part of the face is covered up by the black patches. Whereas it should really just be an eye patch like that and like that. That is the first issue. Issue number two is the fact it joins at the nose. That's a really small issue. That doesn't make a huge difference. And finally, you can see a slight difference with the shades of red. But other than that, this is the best way to do the Deadpool mask, in my opinion. The best mask for it is the hockey mask, in case you guys have forgotten. Um, and that is about it. Again, do let me know if you can think of a different way of doing this. And also, all your other suggestions. One thing to mention is the, um, I think the Hoxton Begins mask that was requested should be coming up sometime this week as soon as I find it. Sorry I'm delaying on that one, I just haven't got the mask. So thanks a lot for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.